Good afternoon, uh, lovely to see you all and I um, hope that you are all enjoying the weather. Um, just, um, uh, it's been a privilege uh, to be, be, have been recording the hymns for Long Ashton uh, during the uh, lockdown period. Um, and also uh, Debbie Smith also who has been recording for uh, Flat Sport and uh, who's also been doing a great job. Um, here is just a little insight as to how I've been recording the hymns. Um, now, he, now here's a keyboard um, I've been recording on and it is connected by a USB cable um, up to the uh, up to the Mac computer, which is what I've been recording on. Now the software I've been using, um, if you can come round, um, is called Garage Band, which um, is a software which is part of the uh, Apple Mac computer. Now it's a free software which you get uh, within it. You can buy Logic. Uh, but that's more expensive. But this is free software which has been incorporated in it. Now here is an example of a track, a hymn, uh, sorry, a track of a hymn I've been recording, and it's called "O Breath of Life," and it's a hymn I've been recording for the last um, service on for the Pentecostal service. Okay, so here is the piano track I've been recording. I've also been using a click track to record to it. So here, when you see the purple arrow point on the arrow, here is the click itself. You, here's the click track you can, you, you can hear with the track. So this stops me going out of time when I record the piece of music. Obviously when, it's, when the track is actually going, I t obviously turn the click track off. Now here also um, is another sound, a violin sound, which I've been recording on top of the hymn. Now this is a MIDI file. Now the violin sound you hear here is a MIDI file and it's, it's used from the MuseScore app, which, um, which I've, I've actually been down, which I've downloaded. Um, okay, now that's another example, and here is also a flute track, um, which I've been recording. Now here it is soloed, and here is the piano track also. Now this is not the flute sound I've been recording on, it's not a MIDI file, it's actually a garage sound which comes with the actual library itself. Here also um, is, I've also incorporated and copied and pasted uh, from so here is the original track and I've also copied and pasted it from from the from an earlier track I've also recorded along with it a flute solo sound the, the, the same flute solo sound which is recorded an octave higher Sorry, just to explain again about the MIDI files, just in case you didn't get the, that bit of <laughs> section earlier. Uh, a MIDI file um, is what I've incorporated from the MuseScore sound, which a MuseScore app, which I've been using for music writing. 
So what I've done is I've incorporated a MIDI this as a MIDI file within it uh, because this is not the sound of it is not included within the garage. As you can see here as well, um, the, the blue section you can see at the top uh, with, with the line which says 100 on it is actually a tempo track. Um, now obviously this this is part of included within the click track which is what I use to, to actually the actual tempo of the music. Um, when you see a metronome you see um, a tempo. Now it's the same principle when you when you see it on a tempo track. It's the tempo which the music is recorded at. I've also, when you see the 84 section on the arrow, I've slowed the actual tempo down. Um, and this is very useful to do at the end and beginning of tracks when you want to actually slow the actual piano down because some because usually you'd normally record the track at the same speed. Many thanks and hopefully I hope that insight was very useful and also it's a, a, been, a, um, as I recounted earlier, it's been a privilege to record hymns for Long Ashton and hope to see you all when lockdown finishes. God bless. <laughs>